Somebody asked me the other day if, if simple beats sell more and like, should I just be making really simple beats and just putting them out there? Good even- no, good morning, sorry. Today, we've got a potentially interesting day, so I thought I'd bring the camera anyway just to see if anything actually happens, but, but I'm planning on getting some sound panels, but I'm planning on building them myself, so I've looked at a few tutorials and it doesn't seem too difficult to do. I have the tools to do them, so I just thought, you know, why not do it? Instead of spending like $400 on one, I'm just gonna make one for like $50 or $40, I think I think you can make one, make two for. So yeah, I need to see if I can get the material. This could be a complete waste of time, but, but yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can find the material. I need some wood, some nails, um, some fabric and some insulation and some screws, I never said that, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. Got a few other bits to do today. It's got quite quite a busy day actually, to be fair. So yeah, let's let's just see if we can do this. I'll probably just dedicate the whole video to it so I can actually show you how I'm doing it. And then if you want to make some sound panels for cheap, then you can do the same thing. Oh, Alright people, it's like about literally five days later after I recorded the last part of the video but I've uh, been quite busy and I've actually made the made both of the frames for these sound for these sound panels I was gonna try and video them but I didn't want to be shooting videos and I've made tons of mistakes doing this basically and I don't want to like there's no point in, in filming it for making tons of mistakes but I can explain exactly what I did and to be fair this is gonna differ depending on like what you want for your sound panels and like the size and you know what your local um, builders merchant has or like your lo your local you know where you buy all the material from basically. The first thing you need to look at is the is the the filling of the panel. So I used insulation, like you know, wall insulation to to soak up all the sound. You probably get these in strips wherever, like like you know, square cutouts. But you need to know the dimensions of those cutouts, and then you can start looking at the the size of the wood that you need to get. I've cut them to the same size as the insulation nailed them together just with some screws. You need some tools for this. Like you need like a drill, you'll need potentially an angle cutter. You don't need to do that because the wood, if you get strong wood, it, you know, the frame's normally strong enough. But yeah, you need a drill, you need a hammer, some nails, some screws, a saw, you know, like a chainsaw, not chainsaw, you know, like a chop saw to um, cut through the wood cleanly. And yeah, I mean, but most places you can actually get people to cut it for you. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've got. So I've got two frames. This one, I just need to um, tighten up the, the fabric and put one more layer of material because it's a bit see-through. This one is like, that's the back of one, so all of these nails, we won't see, they'll be facing like the wall. And then the insulation goes inside there, and then the fabric over the top. But yeah, I think I'll go in, de in detail a lot more when I've like finished them, so I can tell you exactly what I did to, you know, to get the, the finished products. But what I will do is leave the tutorial that I followed, you know, to make these in the description it's really really easy to make honestly it just takes a bit of fiddling around and making sure that everything's square and whatnot but honestly it's not it's not actually too bad i'm gassed to get these up i'm excited to get these up i'm gonna head down to the flat today and do a few more bits and then um yeah we're getting close people we are getting close stay <laughs> oh Time for a, a quick rant, I wouldn't say gems, but like a, a very important opinion and perspective that I feel like you guys should be aware of or just or just thinking about things in the right way because, you know, it takes a long time to to get like a straight sort of kind of self-aware perspective. I'm still working on it now, but, but somebody asked me the other day if, if simple beats sell more and like, should I just be making really simple beats and just putting them out there? There isn't like a proper answer to this because everybody's, everybody's sales are different, number one, which means that you can only judge whether a certain type of beat sells more for you based off of how many sales you're already making if that makes any sense and you kind of have to know what would sound good as a simple beat if you're using some kind of really thin crap sound and then some trash drums like someone's clearly not going to buy that the beat has to be super catchy if it's going to be simple it has to get the attention of the listener immediately because a simple beat honestly like if it's not done correctly, which is, it, it, to be honest, it, it's not difficult. I say it's not difficult to do, but it is. It, you have to kind of practice at it and get good at making simple beats. I'm terrible at making simple beats, and and I won't even class them as simple because there's 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 a lots of of really minor variations that go on throughout the beat with simple beats that you kind of aren't aware of. And not in all beats, you know, people like DJ Mustard kind of got away with it for quite a while. But I don't know if like simple beats would look, like genuinely sell more because there's there's tons of producers out. But these dogs, because the, these dogs, man, honestly, there's tons of producers that that you know make really nice and like 
sort of layered melodies that they spend a lot of time on then put really simple drums over them but they still make those really nice melodies that have lots of layers lots of simple layers but they all build together to make a really really nice full sound and melody and then the drums are really simple or something like that so like to like to define a really simple beat is quite difficult because some beats sound simple but like you have no idea how much time and effort goes into making the loop or how much time and effort goes into putting this putting the sound selection together for the drums try not to worry about like what sells more literally just worry about uh, literally, fucking dogs just worry about what you know what you think sounds good and what and what sound you're going for and just really go up ten you know tenfold into that and and keep your eye on what's working because some of your beats are going to sell more some of your style of beats are going to sell more just keep your eye open for that and if you enjoy making that style of beat that's perfect then you can just go all in making that type of beat but yeah it really is just about you know spend a good one or two years just putting out beats collecting all that data seeing what sells more and then kind of look at that data that you have and make a decision on like what what type of beats you think sell more for you and it, and it really is like it, a lot of you gonna be like okay but that doesn't answer the question but it really is individual it, it really it, it, it really does just depend on like on your situation what beats just work for you honestly because if you look at like let's, for ex let's say for example DJ Payne one okay his beats are their type beats, but they're a complete different style of beats to what like I make or what like Cash Money AP makes. But he still makes really good sales because he's found his niche. He knows that that style of beat is what he's good at making, so he goes all in on that. And the sales that he makes speak for themselves. Similarly, Cash Money AP has the has his own style. People go to him for that style, which means those type of beats that he makes sell more. If DJ Payne was to make a Cash Money AP type beat, it wouldn't sell because that's not his audience, you know. So yeah, man, just just put the time in. These dogs are barking at me because I'm sat outside the gate. So just put the time in, you know, make a ton of beats and just look at what and look at the date you have. You know, use the strategies that I've given you in previous videos, but but look at what style of beat is working for you and kind of just and just go in all just go all in on that, honestly, because that, that's probably the best advice I can give you. Because right now, like I can up I'm uploading beats and doing less of the outreach stuff, but I'm just uploading them and running ads on them and stuff like that. But a specific type of beat is getting sales for me, so I'm just going all in on that. So you know, find find that lane for you and just go all in. Honestly, that's that's the best best advice I can give you. One down. I've been filming this this video. It's been and it's it's literally the worst video ever because I'm just doing updates like this. But I've been making so many mistakes, getting the wrong material, getting the wrong size material, not getting enough material. But the first one's actually turned out pretty well. I'm actually really really happy with it. And I think it actually it's actually had an effect just in this room i haven't put them up yet but just one has made like a significant difference so but as i said i will drop the tutorial that i followed to make these in the description because the thing is as well like i've used a couple of i've had to like substitute a few different materials because i didn't have the right tools as you can see it, like it's, it's taken so long if you take a look here look i've got all of these nails i had to hammer in like, there's just so many that took me a good hour and a half to do this morning like like just having to pull the material tight and, and hammer every single nail in, nail in but it worked out way cheaper than having to buy like a proper professional sound panel i think they cost like 500 500 bucks per panel or something ridiculous these aren't going up here they're going up somewhere else so yeah that is all to come plus uh, a new desk i'm going to build my own sort of tailored desk you know desktop, the, the legs, the storage, um, you know, a few other things as well, just with some money that I saved up. So yeah, man, exciting times. You know what it is, but I'll, I'll, back, I'll be back to normal very shortly.